everybody, William Biddy Brown coming at you from the Cordyceps Cultivation Operation, Cordyceps Farm here in Weaverville, North Carolina. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of preparation. I'm going to be teaching at the Organic Grower School this uh, weekend, and I'll be having some of these Cordyceps with me. Um, and then next weekend, I will be teaching uh, at. I'll be teaching here at the farm, uh, Cordyceps Cultivation Workshop. I'll drop the link below for that. And then two weeks after that, I'll be teaching up in New York uh, with Willie Crosby uh, from Fungi Ally. So uh, busy schedule for the rest of March. Stay tuned. I might be doing a Cordyceps ceremony in Baltimore as well um, in two weeks on a Friday. So I'll drop all the links below and all the information. Uh, stay tuned. Um, we have a lot of jars here that I just started uh, putting the fruiting a couple weeks ago. So they're just starting to pin. Uh, you can see some small fruiting bodies starting to form um, like this here. Uh, they're all like real tiny or starting to grow like about that size. I have a couple test strains in there. So we're gonna see how that works out. Um, and then mostly running uh, this 003 strain and it's progeny. Um, so I started some more cultures from spore uh, from those mushrooms. Um, here I have a little test uh, that I've been doing a little experiment. Uh, last year I grew cordyceps on cacao beans, but I didn't get them to fruit. Um, I'm gonna try and get these to fruit. So uh, these cordyceps mushrooms are going on a mix of rice and cacao beans. Um, either way, we're gonna eat the cacao beans once they're fully fermented by the cordyceps mushroom. So it should be a really cool project. I have some trays rocking. Uh, we got lots of fruits popping out of the trays. Doing good. Uh, those are more for experiments and for personal use and stuff like that. We'll see how that works out. Uh, we also have some bags running um, that aren't doing as well, but they still have some fruit action going on. Um, other than that, uh, we're getting into our uh, rotation here. I got a lot of jars in the incubation area. Uh, all these over here have the cacao beans in them. Um, you can see that they're producing a very interesting uh, color enzyme there. Uh, once they're grown on the cacao beans. Um, and then all of this is just our fruiting strain incubating, as well as all of these in here. Um, been running about uh, 44 to 50 um, jars a day here, and we're getting another uh, stereoclave, stereoclave in here so that we can up our production a little bit more. Um, yeah. Not really much more to update. Um, having a lot of success and um, just those events that I was telling you about. So I'll drop the links below. Um, I hope all y'all have a great day. Propagate and mycelia.